Interesting place. Oh, it's so lovely. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. I don't care how much that man pays. I am not rubbing Hubert's feet the again until the base. Disgusting. So, where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. Huh. I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody peak. So you're a funny dwarf. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Jathan? Have you seen Nanette lately? Nanette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Nanette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Ghislaine knew about you and Nanette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Were you hoping Nanette would leave Ghislaine for you? Of course not. I know my place. I offer a service, that's all. Anyway, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. Perhaps Emmerich knows something we don't. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Thank you, Sirrah, for coming along when you did. 
I am Emmerich. Just the person I was looking for. I need to speak with you about Nanette. Ah, Ghislaine de Karak's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. Did you learn nothing? Most people just say she left her husband. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. <laughs> I had a friend who disappeared once. Turns out he was under my bed, drunk. What? I think the disappearances are connected, and I suspect foul play is involved. Doesn't the Circle use phylacteries to keep track of its mages? We followed her phylactery to a foundry, but found nothing. I had heard of sympathizers smuggling mages through Darktown, so came here hoping to pick up the trail. But no trace of Merrin. And as you've seen, asking the locals hasn't made me very popular. Have you mentioned any of this to the city guard? They say there's no proof the disappearances are connected. They think the women just left home. That it happens all the time. People don't just disappear. Perhaps they were murdered or kidnapped. We found no bodies, no ransom notes. Those women just vanished. Mages routinely flee the circle. Perhaps Marin just wanted freedom. She had always been loyal. She received lilies from an unknown suitor, and some of us thought she may have gone to meet him. Perhaps her disappearance is linked. Don't you hate it when something goes missing? I lose things all the time. I... what? The women. They're missing, and you can't find them. Ah, right. I cannot lie, Sarah. I tire of searching. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. A foundry in Lotown. I should look into that. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be tell the shot. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Looks like I'm not the only one who saw the bounty posting. Apparently so. And I am regretting it. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone. And there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be 
of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Canari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arishok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. I should know about the competition. The Winters out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. The boy will be home soon enough. Declare it if you like, but the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the wounded coast. Easy as pie. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man, a good one, and he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. You clearly miss Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him, but he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him, but I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I put him to the sword myself, Hawk. At his behest. I know in my head that it was right. So did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. I could get used to having the law on my side. You'll behave yourself, is what you'll do. I just sent Jevon to prison over corruption. I won't go the same road. You never let me have any fun. I think that's best for everyone. I look forward to working with you. Guard Captain Aveline. Still strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be. you out if you kick that wall one more time. 